hello everyone how is it going today is another opportunity to do a work better than the previous days and today's video is about a movie application built with react native if you are new here and you find this to be useful and interesting make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video go ahead and leave a comment in the section below and you can share as well with that said let's jump right in We used to start or initialize the project by expo init and proceed to give the name of the app. There's also another alternative and that's NPS create React Native app and name your app. And to actually see this working on your terminal, you need to have Node.js and expo CLI installed. I'll link it down in the description below so you can check it out. So from here that you proceed to choose the templates from expo. And move on with a blank template so in here it will start downloading and extracting our project files and also install our javascript dependencies as well so let's wait for a while so we can now see our project is ready and we need to navigate to the movie app directory so see the movie app and to actually open this in vs code we use code and a period to open it in VS Code for us. There we go. OMDBAPI.com will be the source of our movie API where we'll be fetching our data from. So we need to visit that site and also click on the API key to generate a unique API key for us. So in here, I'm going to choose a free account type and also provide my details, my email name, and also the use of the API and submit. There we go. So we can see a verification link to activate your key or send to this email. So let's visit the gmail.com and activate the API. Your key is activated. Let's proceed. Let's start by creating a folder and name it as API. So within the API folder, let's create an index.js file. So within the index.js file, let's assign our API key to a constant variable of URL. Let's proceed to create a function that will fetch our movies and it's going to be an asynchronous function and we need to export the function as well. The function takes in a parameter of title. So within the fetch movies, let's fetch the URL and assign the title to the search query. So whatever the user searches, that's going to be the title. Since this is an asynchronous function, which returns a promise and the promise need to resolve, we need to await the fetch method. And we need to store the response within a variable known as the race. And also, we need to turn the response to a JSON format and assign it to a variable of data. And let's proceed to return the data. And that's pretty much the function for fetching our data. There we go. Let's open our app.js file and import use state and use effect from react we also need to import the fetch movie function we created within the api folder as well let's create a state for the movies and it's going to accept an array so the current state is an empty array so we have movies and set movies we also need to call our use effect hooks and this is how the syntax looks it has a callback function and also a dependency array so within the callback function let's create another function it's going to be an asynchronous function and it's going to set the movie to await the fetch movie we just created from the api folder 
the use effect basically used for rendering side effects in functional components so whenever the pages load that's the first thing is going to load so to actually call this function we just type in the name of the function with a pair of parentheses just like that so we can see our fetch movie accept a parameter of title so let's create another state for our search item and it's going to be search movie and set search movie and assign an empty screen string for now so since it received a parameter let's pass in a parameter of search movie which is an empty string so let's manually pass in a value and check it out from the console we can see our response to be true in here and also our search result as well as different movies of vagabond let's try one more title batman there we go we can see our results in here Let's install React Native Paper package. So npm install React Native Paper. There we go, we have a successful installation in here. Let's get rid of the view within the return value. Let's return another view. And also let's import the test input from React Native Paper. So within the view, let's return the test input component which is the self-closing component the test input has a value property let's set that to be our search movie it also has an unchanged test property so in here it takes the test the user is entering and use the search movie function to update the test the user is entering and also it also has the placeholder property let's set that to search a movie here There we go, we can see our input and also our placeholder functioning in here. Let's give style to the test input by giving it a margin top of 35 just to push it from the top. The test input has a property called the left. So on the left of the input, we are going to specify the search icon there. So test input dot icon and the name of the icon is going to be magnify since our data is an object and we can map through an object so we have the object.keys of our movies and we want to check the, if the length is greater than zero before we proceed doing anything so below the input we are going to have a scroll view to make our movie card scrollable so we need to import the scroll view from react native let's give some styling to the scroll view it's going to have a flex direction of row flex wrap of wrap and also just five contents to be spaced around and also aligning items to be at the center so within the scroll view we have our movie state which has a search object on it and map true and for each movie we will be having an instant return of a movie card which is not yet created so let's move ahead and create the movie card component let's create a file and name it, name it as movie card i 
rnf just give us the boilerplate code so we need not to type all this let's import the image from react native let's proceed to give some stylings to the image let's give it a width of 170 a height of 200 and also let's give it some margin of 10 and give it a border radius of 5 and also the image has a source property since you are accessing it online use the URI and set that to movie.poster and where is this movie come from we need to pass that movie as a prop so movie is called to movie so when we get to the movie card component we can the structure in there and pass in the movie let's give some styling to the view as well just file content to be at the center and also aligning items to be at the center there we go and also let's give it a key and that's going to be a key of i let's proceed to import the movie card we exported within our component There we go, you can see our movie. There we go. Let's add functionality to the search so that whenever you search, we can navigate to different titles of movie and search through the database. So I have the search function in here and that's going to set the movie to await the fetch movies with this in a parameter of search movie. And we need to clear the input as well. So in here, I pass in an unpressed value of search and also it has on submitting editing. So whenever the user search for any movie and press enter, it's going to go through the search function and bring the output. And that's pretty much it. If you find this to be useful and interesting, subscribe to the channel to get related videos of this and also like the video as well. See you in our next tutorial. Until then, stay tuned.